Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with cottage fries. That's right, the forgotten fry. Steak fries, home fries, french fries, they all get more publicity. But that's okay, the cottage fry is a fine fry in its own right, and one you could do quite nicely in an oven. So here we go. So we're going to start by slicing some potatoes in round slices about, well, a little more than a quarter inch, a little less than a half inch. I guess that would be three eighths of an inch. Now I'm using Yukon Gold here. I normally use russet potatoes, which are a little starchier and probably a little better for this. But I had Yukon Gold on hand, so I decided to try them and they do work fine. And as long as you wash these really well, there's no need to peel them. So I'm leaving the skin on. After they're sliced, I'm going to go ahead and rinse those in cold water. All right, we want to rinse off any excess starch. That's why the water gets all cloudy. You're going to rinse those, drain those, and dry them as best you can with some paper towels. All right, and those are prepped. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle over some olive oil. I'm going to go with some black pepper. All right, a little bit of cayenne. A generous amount of salt. And then a dried herb blend you've seen me use before, Herb de Provence, which is thyme, rosemary, oregano, marjoram, and usually a little bit of lavender, which are those little light purple buds you see in there. And no, I'm not measuring any of that. This is all to taste, okay? So don't be afraid. At that point, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Use what you want, but a bare hand really is the best tool here. Once those are evenly coated, I'm going to go ahead and place those on a baking sheet. Normally, I use foil, and they do come out a little crispier with foil. But in this case, I decided to go with my silicone mat because I hadn't tried it in a while on this, and I forgot if it worked or not. So I decided to go with it. I'm going to give them just a little bit of extra salt sprinkled on top. So we're going to place those down. We're going to space them evenly, and those are going to go in a hot oven. I want you to preheat it to 425, and we're going to pop those in for 15 minutes, okay? And after 15 minutes, they're just going to start to fry in that oil. We're going to go ahead and flip those over, put them back in for another 15 minutes, and you're basically going to repeat this process until they're as browned and cooked as you want them. So this was after like a half hour. They're starting to get close, but I wasn't satisfied. So I popped those back in, another 15 minutes, and they were looking much closer. So I could have just put those in for a little bit more time, but I decided to go with an optional step here. If you have one of these cooling racks, one of these baking racks, transfer the potatoes on top, put that back in the oven like that. And because you're gonna get that air circulation underneath, it really does help crisp these up. So I put those back in for about, I don't know, it was like 10 minutes maybe, eight, 10 minutes, something like that. And when they came out, I was finally happy. So like I said, that last step is optional. You can just leave them on the pan until they're as brown and crisp as you want. And there you go. Simple, easy, delicious cottage fries. If done properly, they should be kind of crispy and crunchy around the edge, yet still somewhat tender on the inside, okay? Think of it as like a fat, succulent potato chip, which by the way, would be a great name for a band. And you can hear that. That's what they're supposed to sound like. And by the way, they're called cottage fries because they're supposed to resemble the shingles on the roof of a cottage. And by the way, if your home has a fried potato roof, I would love to see the rest of the house. And there you go. Who's not looking for another simple, easy to make, delicious potato side dish? I know I always am. So anyway, I really hope you give those a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.